Well, Kate, we're here. And I'll tell you why we're here. We're here to recap. Damn. You know, you and I were 20, I can't even count the years at this point, but. I'll tell you this, it was a it long does time feel- because when I watched this episode, I thought, shit, I'm young. You, you, we go through this every season. But what happened to you and I is we took a two-year break from recapping. So now we're even older than like we were. So it's, I don't know if it gets more upsetting, but it also feels more like, oh, it's, we still have to talk about this show. We're si- you and I are still talking about this show, which is why odd. That's why I don't, why are we still talking about it? But also makes sense because we, we never finished talking about it. I know. If we had kept on the recapping, we might be over it already, but here we are. I needed a break. I know you did. You did too. I know. I know this. But, it wasn't just me. Right. But then we got given this opportunity, so <laughs> grab the bull by the horns and we're going <laughs> to recap season three, damn it. And I don't know if people want it, but here it is. Here it is anyway. <clears throat> kind of like the show always was. Well, I don't what... know if you want it, but here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, We're gonna watch make it, it anyway. I, I, I had a lot of questions watching the show. I said to you just before we went on. In in the show's timeline, it was six months, but in the pants timeline, it's been like over two years. Right. And my first thought was, what happened to Dana and Alice? Why is Alice so unhinged? Here's what's about to happen on camera. I don't, and I know they did. It was like a ten minute recap, by the way. From oh, I skipped it. I should have watched it. Oh, you did? I did fully. Oh, it lasted forever. I was like, really? was that an episode? That's how long it was. A lot happened in the first two seasons, and they reminded us, and I've already forgotten to the drive downtown. Like, Thanks. So you can't fill me in on? I just yeah, want to know there, what happened. No, no. Okay. What happened? Did, 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 so you see, happened. did you see an Alice and Dana breakup? Um, did you prior? I to- don't. Arwen? Right. Yeah. Arwen? You did see a breakup did we break between up? those two? No. Arwen, will you come over? Oh my God. Please. Okay, everyone. This is Arwen. Thank God. So yeah. what happened is, I don't know if it's Lara or Lara. It's Lara. Lara. Well, yeah. Lisha wanted her to be called Lara, and Aaron said she's my girlfriend. I want to call her Laura. Right, and you still call her I didn't care. La- you, well, you said it like 10 minutes ago, and I was like, she still can't get this name right. Gonna... It's Lara. 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 It's like you have to open your jaw. You really wanted Lara. Well, Lara oh my God, this is rolls so off the tongue. La- Lara. Does it? I didn't name the character. Um, I just had to say it. Lara and Dana go to dinner. Uh-huh. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. This is in the finale oh, of can, season Do you two? mind if I go to dinner with my ex? Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit me in the ass. weird. And is really pushing Alice away at the end of season okay. two. And so Alice's response was to be like, should we move in together? Or do you want to Right, I got people? overly, like, let me lock you really in. got clingy. Okay. And then. I Hence guess. the beginning so of. So all of this happened in the finale of season two. Yes. Well, the clinginess, we didn't see okay. a breakup. Right. Got okay, it. but we heard about it. Okay. Cut yeah. to Alice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. I'm glad. Thanks for coming on camera. I know you didn't want to. Um, thank you, Ar- thank you, Ar- Yeah. So uh, okay, that's so how well, you beca- that's how Alice became unhinged, apparently. Okay. And like, really did. Wow. It was a. S- I came in hot. You really. I did. was like, I don't remember. I don't even want to call you. I'm, I got to call her she. If I call her you, as in you, it feels funny because you, you feel uncomfortable. Like you're, the it's lines kinda, are blur- blurred. Uh, really? Yeah, At this she, point, she's not. Like she's she's a little she's unhinged. She's a little she. She's a little okay. Nutty. I guess yeah, it's not me. I, I but hope still, not. I was. I guess. I guess. I took responsibility for it. I was like, wow. Like I, I was almost embarrassed. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little embarrassed watching it this morning. What part of it embarrassed you? <sighs> um, I didn't. I think I wasn't ready for it because we've been so like side characters that all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's a whole thing happening. <laughs> That I'm acting out. I have a storyline. I have a storyline, and it's not like your run-of-the-mill storyline. I've right. gone bad shit. I'm on pills. I'm a stalker. Methylphenidate. Well, thanks for. I didn't have time to Google it I on the way I over here, and I was like, "What either. am I on?" Do you know what methylphenidate is? It's speed. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Why are you on speed? Why am I on speed? And why are none of you helping me? Why so are like, all of Alice, us oblivious to this? You I, don't I, care. I can, Shane First can of all, be justified. She's in La La Land, but everyone else. You guys, you know what you all did in every scene? You eye rolled me. 
you were like, oh, I didn't here eye roll she comes. you. I looked at you with concern. <laughs> you guys, I didn't eye roll. Like you were like, here she comes. I hate her I, feel, no, faces. No, I, I, when I, did all that I happen? believe Shane said something on the in, in the vein of Al, which is code okay, for so nice Are you me. okay? You. <laughs> She's not um, verbose, but I could read the subtext. Point is, I didn't eye roll. <laughs> Maybe Bet did because she's judgy. Her and Tina were like cunts. straight up. I, straight I was up like, eye "Wow, yeah. well, where are my friends?" Dana was like, "Run," which I kind of understand. Like, but can we open on that? Can we talk about the vaginas before we launch into like? Sorry, it just like kind of kicked horror- open with you and your in your talk show. So I just, well, it kicked open on it did the nineteen sixties. Well, first of all, this is the first episode of season three. Oh, right. We should the episode's say what it is. called. Um, Labia majora. Yes, labia majora. Which is the outer out lip. <laughs> lip of the vulva. <laughs> what you say? The, out, the, the outer, outer lip, lip of the, of the vulva. It's the little, it's the. <laughs> you looked it up too. You're like, Why are we both this? doing this? Why are we both doing this? It's that. Uh, it's the little fattier part. <laughs> 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 Which is why it's called Majora. It's bigger. It's uh, bigger. Yes. Um, and it was uh, <laughs> yeah. um, written Go ahead. by Rose Trochet. Oh, okay. Let's get serious. Sorry, directed. God, but really? Sorry, forgive me. You like, I'm just setting the no, scene thank here. You. It's directed by Rose Trochet. Yeah. It's written by Eileen. Okay. I don't know when this thing aired. I can't remember. You used to love oh, to I give forgot the dates. you loved it. You love well that you're doing it all right now. No, you were a big fan. Are you okay? <laughs> no, that fucking killed me. You I used still want to describe giving... all the lips in a vagina, but we had to go to who wrote it. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to take away your moment. No, I'll come back to it. No, go right ahead. Okay. So <laughs> the floor is yours. What's the middle what are the middle lips called? Minoras? <laughs> the minis? <laughs> well, they named it. I wonder why they gave the at the labia majora the props. Anyway, they open on like, a, a bunch of women with mirrors looking at. Can their, I ask a question? Why was this episode named that in the first place? Because they're. I'm telling you. Is it all based on? Did the you blow teaser? past the teaser? No, I, I suffered through it. But did did you have? But is the episode Kate, based? They show, it, they showed it, women. Did you call me babe? Did I? Did she just call me babe? Did I just call you oh babe? Oh my god! I did. did you call me babe. She called me babe. I did. Right? Are we sure? Leisha, I don't say that word. Well, you sure did to me. <laughs> Are you? I think I said they, no, I and you so. said something with a B, and it sounded I like have, babe. I Is have Arwen who's shaking her head yes. Oh god. Okay. Did they name Kate. this episode based off the teaser alone? Because I didn't see also, anything else about a large. We uh, had eight thousand conversations around oh, the right. stupid coffee shop table. I forgot about how what to call a vagina. Okay. So the theme was vaginas. We came. We came in season three. Thank you. Talk. Okay. Well, you were like, we just talked about how forgot, we, that was I a gaggy the, scene. I'm sorry. I forgot, it's okay. I forgot the vagina. Listen, I'm going to forget a lot, too. I'm not slants. mad at you. I'm, I didn't okay. love the scene, so I forgot it, and I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm not mad at you. Okay. So here we are. Ready? Yes. It's the 1950s, 60s? 60s. 60s. Women have mirrors, and they're acting like they've never in their life seen their own vagina. And they're spilling that granola. Weird? On each what other. was the granola thing? I don't know, but Arwen saw it too, and I. I was the like, same that thing. was. It felt like I, I almost like granola? jumped off the couch. Like, what's going to happen with the granola? Nothing ever happened with the granola. It was a snack. But what was the point of? Oh, oh my god! The gra- Is it because that there were just no underwear and like crumbs would fall inside everyone's pussy? Ow! What was the fear? I don't know. Why were we supposed to be like? Oh no, not the granola. And why granola? Was anyone freaking why out not about, fruit about the granola? Maybe we're the only ones who thought that about the no, granola. No, I fully noticed it. It was a very so the three clear. three of us noticed it. On, exactly. Oh. I really think we were supposed to be like, oh, no, it's going to go in her pussy. I don't get it on the vulva. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, hot coffee would have, I would have been like, <gasps> like if it was something. Point is, they have a mirror. They're looking yeah, at themselves. Right. Why, have they, why are they doing this in a group setting? I don't know. And then, I mean, I guess back then we're supposed to think that nobody talked about their vaginas, so this is like a breakthrough, like so. Then maybe it was session. the fifties, not the sixties. Okay, who cares? And I'm sure um, they said. And 
In true and then somebody true like, Elward fashion. Someone goes in a bathroom and kitchen. Okay. And she gets touched once. Mm-hmm. Cl- comes close to orgasm. Yeah. And then of course cut to the big theme song. It always happens so quickly to the orgasms on the L word. Oh, like they like come a, out of a, nowhere. A brush against an I mean, arm. You, and it's just... your character, just really. It's like you can make oh, someone Jesus. come and like walk through the door. Fifteen seconds. It's crazy. There's never like a warm up. There's never a never a warm up. It's just like a hard, hard dry boom, fingering. Let's just go. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, maybe she, they, she was already like excited from the mirror session. The girl in the sixties. Yeah. Well, thankfully it cut. Maybe she has a thing for cereal. I don't know. Uh, actually, I she made notes. Excited. Wait a second. I made notes. Let's see. Anyway, that happened, and then we open up on Alice, who I guess another thing that was amazing uh, breakthrough mm. about Alice and the L word. Not only did she invent Facebook, she also invented the podcast in a slight. She was doing pants before pants. That's what I'm saying. Kate? What? Do you want me to say Didn't you feel like I was doing pants when you watched Alice? No. Well, you know, it was a radio show, but like, I mean, are we not doing it? It reminded me of KCRW. It was KCRW. Okay. Um, also, why am I airing my own private, like, not just my, it'd be, like, when she you touches imagine- me here, I feel it down here. Down here. I was like, what? Who- I remember <laughs> memorizing that for some reason when I was watching that. I was like, oh, I remember that was a long monologue. And I was like, oh, when I saw it, when I came back up to Vancouver, and Did I was Rose like, Did Rose Trochet direct you to say, start, when you say here, reference Of course, because then the camera panned down to my hand. There was another thing it followed me doing. What was it? But since it's, can I... One thing I noticed when you were doing that, and you did that thing, when I, when she touches me yeah. here, I feel it here, uh-huh. I thought, I'm seeing this. But if I was in this fake world and I was listening in on the radio, I if wouldn't you were know like in your car in LA. Is. I wouldn't understand. It's it's audio. Well, I mean, you could probably pick it up, what I was saying. It made me laugh. It like, okay. made me laugh, too. I was like, <laughs> but listen, here's what I was like surprised about. Why mm. am I airing my own dirty laundry and Dana, who's a clo- is she she's not closeted, but she's a famous tennis player. <clears throat> and also this poor new girlfriend, Laura. Laura. <laughs> I'm gonna help you say it. I and always then, called her Laura. Laura. It's not so, whatever. Okay. She I'm sitting there just saying it to all of Los Angeles. I couldn't help you there. I I don't know what Alice's I mean. What a weird choice. Are. It's odd. How about nobody's like, hey, Al, maybe don't do that. You know what I noticed about Alice and Dana? <laughs> Not Alice and Dana. Sorry, Laura and Dana. Am I saying? Is Laura. That, Laura. <laughs> she bought from Boston. Laura. I mean, she should be. Laura. Laura. She should live there. <clears throat> everyone would say something. It I've noticed about this character is that she. She's all she, great. No, all she does is seductively discuss ingredients to her recipes. <laughs> She gave a lemon cookie. Sure, but she'll tell you very seductively what's in the lemon cookie. I would listen. Well, I'm not going to lie. Well, then you got, when you watch the next episode, she does it again. (laughs) And I put rosemary and buttered thyme and I rolled the flour. No, truly, (laughs) like she goes into, yeah, she goes into like always seductive ingredients and recipes. And then she feeds you and then fucks you. That's that's, that's the character's mode. Did you notice that? Do I hate this character? She always gives ingredients. No. I like it. I'm not I judging it. It's thought, just an, it's an observation. I was like, Alice, get over it. They're so fucking cute together. I'm a. I, here's the thing. As an outsider, yeah, I like that couple. I think Alice is a nightmare. I'm, I think Laura is so cute and sexy. So is Dana. I'm like, they should be together. When did Alice and Helena become friends? Okay, well, let's first of all let's get to some other characters. It's a little Alice heavy right now. But I know, that's but a, it was just back to back to back. That to fell back. out of the sky. I remember reading like, oh, because okay, first of all, Helena was an evil character. She was like a soap opera. Yes. Evil. You know, she was the villain. Mm-hmm. She was the villain, right? So everyone loved her. And they were like, "We got how? How do you keep a villain around too long?" I guess in soap, soaps they do, but instead of just continuing to like make Helena sort of on the outside, they had to bring her into the group, mm-hmm. the friend group. 
I mean, who who's an easier target than stick them with stick anyone with Alice? She's so open to anything. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, I just. But what I want to know is, when did you to become friends? When did Helena become a nice person? I. That's more the question. I think it was in this episode, or maybe it was in the next episode. There was a moment where, when you do ADR, you have to. You have, sometimes you have to fill in dead spaces yeah. with expositional dialogue, and yeah. it's always off camera, so your voice, your face isn't matching what you're saying in ADR. Yeah. <laughs> what I have to say, me? No, you did. I think Sarah and I did. We said, "Oh yeah, they've been hanging out a lot." It was <sighs> like it was their way to justify, like, sure. oh, "Okay, well, this will solve all the problems." That, yeah. That answers everything. But when did she become nice and sort of like, "Oh, Alice"? I don't know. Oh, silly Alice! I bought a studio. Okay, not only that, but I think maybe next. I'm not sure. She was at a psychic, so now she's into like astrology. She's a compl- She's excellent. had a complete excellent. personality. Excellent, excellent psychic, by the way. Why? Well, because she says you're going to meet someone front oh, to front. Oh, spec- the specific- I mean, it was like, yeah. right? The specificity yeah. with the mm-hmm. psychic. I'd love her number. Thanks for saying that word. I was like, it's not coming out of my mouth what? right now. Specificity? <laughs> well, if you can't pronounce Lara. Okay. Anyway, go continue. Right. That's Great it. psychic. She got very specific. Set deck got really excited about that psychic's apartment, too, with the blue light and the flowing curtains. They really went all out. Well, as they should, right? Why not? And what else? <clears throat> well, I I'd like to talk about the personal the the personality change. Full on. I don't know what to say except she's a totally different character. A different character. Like if she was like that from day one, there never would have been a conflict. I mean, Bet still hates her. She still gives her the stink. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it took one conversation that Alice was like, "Can I bring her?" And she was like, "Okay." And then all of a sudden, <laughs> she's like giggling around the coffee table. Right. But I guess that's TV. I don't know. It's called it's the L word. Conflict resolution. Let's okay. wrap it up and move Let's on. Let's talk to the about next Shane scene. a little bit. Um, or do we go to Bet and Tina next? Whatever. I mean, should we go to them? Because it's always fun. Sure. Okay. So Bet and Tina still don't know how to communicate. So much so that every time they have a scene together, they have some sort of expert that's helping them. Have sex, how to, tr- you know, uh, raise a baby. How, like, I'm like, can you just talk to each other? Did do you notice Laurel's ex husband was an extra in the baby I daycare? I saw that. Yeah. I was like, oh, Paul. 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 Yeah. And you meet Angus, the guy who's teaching the course. Well, be to explain what you're talking about. I'm talking the first scene where you see Bet and Tina. Okay. So they have, so Angie's. Angie's, I don't know, it's a da- ba- I don't know what it is. Angie's it's a, mommy, a baby. A mommy and me, a daddy yeah. and me, a baby thing. Where uh-huh. you hang out with your baby mm-hmm. and someone plays music and, then, and you and dance then around Tina a room. And Tina is like, I love straight people. And Bet's like, why do you love straight people? Like, I was like, really? Well, no, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't, it kicks off because the show has a really great habit of making straight people utterly clueless. Like a pariah. And also. this, oh, cl- oh, and, yeah, the, and the father, and the father of one of these kids and one of this baby and me classes that they're in is won't share a rattle or a, or a or an instrument i don't know what the hell it was but um and bet gets her bet gets upset per bet and um that's where the conversation led on to but the way they treat the way straight people are on this sh- on this show makes me well, laugh anytime there's a it's straight the adoption. character what it's the adopt she was like i can't adopt it has nothing to and do with bet- the adoption i'm talking about I understand, shit, but but Tina has to start explaining to the straight guy who's like holding his baby, like, <laughs> oh, how about Tina's <laughs> he's like, just he like divulging know. information, and the guy never once asked anything, and she's like, that's, that, that's the other, that's yeah, the, that's the and other she mom. can't adopt because I'm and that's the other mom. She had him, and that's it, and and then we, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, but he's an also idiot. asking dumb questions because. But I, but here's my question: Are we just showing the world at the, you know going back taking it to, uh, like? you know, spaceship back in time traveling to 2003, four, whatever the hell it is. Was it really that bad? Like, what? were straight people really like, what's a lesbian? I'm like, sure I don't understand. Because <laughs> now I wonder. <laughs> now I'm like, was it like that? Because I know it was bad. I lived it. But was it was I had it straight like friends in buffoonery? that time. None of them were, none of them behaved that way. It's the show. I'm telling you, the show had a, had, had, it was, it was part of the show's DNA. You to have a straight show, character; they're going to be really flawed. They're going right. to be really so we clueless. can explain the show. Can they're going to be the, the straight person. 
precisely. This is what being gay is like. Spoiler gonna... alert, but like Kit's son isn't far behind. Oh, I can, that's, but that's it's the next just, episode. Sure. Don't go there, but Whatever. yeah. I'm just saying, it's like, that's just another example of either a straight person on the sh- is evil or clueless. Okay. Once in a while, they're cool, but r- rarely. Okay. So, so Angie, uh, they have to prove to this um, state government worker soon that uh, they're both fit parents so bet can adopt angie that's this that's the setup for for this episode okay right. here's Mama the other B thing i was T. like so first of all it was kate clinton the comedian right who played the sex therapist mm-hmm. i just want to say and i'm sorry i might get some shit for this but when she eye rolled i felt seen there was nothing gaggier the whole time back then and also watching it now than hearing Mama T and Mama B. Deadly. What is, why? Don't know. Why? Can't they just call each other Bet and Tina? I don't know. Or like, even like T, like I know Al, oh, Al, Al starting, I mean, maybe the abbreviations were a thing, but Mama B and Mama T. It's terrible. Do people do that? I hope not. They might. But yeah. Whew. And she's like, you're not going to want to have sex. No shit. If you're like, I mean, can you imagine? No. I have nothing to say except (laughs) I felt seen. Anyway, that there was. And she was selling ice cubes for $30. She was selling ice cubes for $30. Chocolates for $19. Do they really not know how? This is what I'm saying. Like, Bet and Tina, talk to each other. Talk to each other. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. If you have to care not. though, because people care. I know. People I care don't. Though. About I don't. I don't care if they talk or not, because you know why? There's four more seasons of them talking and not talking. So I don't need they the answer don't in this talk. episode. They have I to really go don't. see a sex therapist. They right. have to go see. And they're going to go through the, the the gamut ten times over. There was even another character final, later. The that final was... episode of the final season. They're not going to talk to each other. I in just this episode. there's something about this couple, this very famous couple. That is like so is put on a pedestal as the greatest couple of all time. But they don't communicate. But they don't talk. That's what I'm saying. I don't care I, if they if they communicate or not because we're going to see this ten times over until the end of the the show and the, the original. Okay. Like there's going to be this person. Like I, I mean, all these people are going to come in and fuck up the communication more. I'm just like, oh my god, the fucking unhealthy cycle with these two. But they're perfect together, are they? No, are they? I don't know if they are. I really don't. I know that they wound up being perfect in the in the at the end of the reboot, but that well, was just like know, let's had wrap it up, it up and make it make it nice and shiny. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like Tina with Carrie. I thought they were cute together. I loved Carrie. I thought they but that's were the fucking reboot. so adorable loved together. Him. Loved him. I was. I know. Anyway, can we talk about Shane? Sure. Shane's with Carmen. Look, I'm listen, I haven't seen Shane and Carmen together in how many years has it been? But what a cute couple. A full on fan. Yeah, cute. You're both very I'm, good looking. I'm I'm a, I'm Team Charmin. I get I the know. hype. Me too. I understand. Me these too. two have chemistry. I saw these two and I thought, I bet these two have sex all the time. Mm-hmm. It's fucking great. They sure. really enjoy each other's company. Why did it get so fucked up? I don't know. I don't remember how and why you it's ended. Sarah's contract was up. That's why. Right. And also it was in, wasn't it in Whistler? Uh, when we went on a, on a ski trip. We're okay, but. Yet. But sure. The point is, is that what I, I, I understood at the time I never got it. because we didn't? We were, well, no, we were living it. It was work. And Sarah's like my sister. But now watching these two finally be a couple. Oh, mm, you, 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 I get you it. root for these guys. Fully. Yeah. I get it. I get, I get the, I get it. I loved the whole. Are we? we is this the quinceanera or is that the next one? A, the word, a word that so, oh, we live in LA. Shane didn't just can't pronounce <laughs> it. Doesn't know what it is. <laughs> Bet doesn't know what what's, it is. I either. mean, talk about nobody knows stupid. what it is. Nobody knows what it is. Everyone's like, "What's that, Carmen?" And she's like, "Oh, it's like a bat mitzvah, but with tamales." <laughs> I can't. Like, what the fuck? You were like, I you couldn't were pronounce so it. To, I couldn't pronounce it to what's save you my. What's it called? A kinsen, kinsen. Yeah. Oh, uh, you were like. Dumb, dumb overload. But you know what? You were cute. Super cute. That's all that matters, Leisha. <laughs> you don't all, you say know a lot. No, you, you do just not don't. You say just, a you lot. You know what you do? You just hit mute. You just look. <laughs> can I do that now? <laughs> I can go home. 
I can get you. I can get my. I can get a cutout of myself and plop it in this chair. Oh my god, the cutout! Talk. I mean, thank unhinged. God you brought it up. You're unhinged. So I'm on speed. Do we see the cutout in the first episode? Not me. She's on speed, huh? Do we see the cutout on the first episode, or is that a reveal? Yeah, no. This is the whole. This we just. They just really lay out that Alice has lost her mind. Like this is a full derailing of right mental health, maybe. What you think? So, okay, so Alice and Helena are also taking yoga together. You shot out that in, in L.A. It was out in Malibu. Malibu. I'm pretty sure there would have been a closer class, but who's? I remember waking up at 4 a.m. to get there. Oh, but they go, they drive out to Malibu to take a class. Maybe that's where Helena, because she does have that scene in the bikini. Oh, that's my favorite. Helena goes right from a yoga class to being in her uh, beach house in a robe and a Glass of but white that wine. lines up because we were out at the beach. So maybe I maybe I drove an hour plus to take this yoga class on pills. That's safe for everyone around. Sure. Let me <laughs> <laughs> just get on the PCH. Right. <clears throat> I have nothing to say about it except um, I could tell you shot that in LA. Okay, so then I'm driving back. She's driving back from Malibu, mm -hmm. and I'm now in West Hollywood, and I see Dana in a car. So I. Oh God! Yeah, that music. It, so I like, tried the, like, the music. The music during the during the the, the car chase. Uh, it was like it like messed with my equilibrium. I don't remember the music. I was watching the like shots, and I remember we sort of near your old house, like where Laurel Canyon and Fairfax and Hollywood Boulevard all meet. They closed it down. That's how much. The, that's Get how out. big the budget was at this point. They closed it down. Crescent like, Heights we and were, Fountain. Yes. That whole section? That whole section is where we shot that. Get out. I know. Talk about a different time. I mean, it's like a, you know. Wow. So anyway. Um, I'm sorry. Look, I'm just trying to see what I so I see. So I see Dana, and I decide to run her off the road, which I'm not sure what the choice was. But I did. There was one part I really enjoyed because mm. I felt like it was sort of something you and I would do. What? Um, Helena calls in from the beach house and asked me what color hair I had. And then it was like a full stop in the middle of the chase scene to describe like my highlights. Oh yeah. And is it, <laughs> I was like, that felt like something you and I would do. It's Absolutely. not quite a blonde, but it's more of a, you know what I mean? It's like a dirty ashy. <laughs> Cause we just did that the other day. Oh yeah. Like, I like it. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's like a natural, but it's not a natural, but it's a little, it's warm. I don't know. I really respected that as like a friend it's call. So true. Even though Helen is a new friend out of the blue. Yeah. It no. should have been Shane, but Shane doesn't talk. It's, you're so lucky. It's kind of lucky, but also if you're that cute, what what really do you have to say? You know what I mean? I think it was I didn't really need you to say much. Season prior? I don't Point know. Point is, I think I was I like this version I of think, Shane. I think there was an I think I was unhappy Shane the season prior, so now to give a bit of hap, uh uh, uh, levity Shane is is oh is I nice. felt this might be my fav favorite version. It's short lived, but it's great. Um, oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. But I like the family. It was very. She was very. I sweet. loved. I love your relationship with Carmen. I do too. I'm down. I love the I love family. It. I, I love, love how it. the mother's oblivious. I love the whole thing with the dress was adorable. Like how they're constantly feeding you. Yeah. Teaching you. Fun fact: I still have that shirt. Came across it the other day. It's Are you talking about your tank top? No, the, your blue, white tank the top? blue button down shirt. I thought, oh, I've, you know what I thought? I've seen still you have in that. that. I still, I still have it. Tom Brown. Hmm, that's a good one. Yeah, you I really don't. still have that? I do, and I don't wear it. I should sell it. Yes. Okay. Here's what I. Okay, so a very important storyline. Very important. Favorite character. Let's talk about her. Okay, Jenny Schechter. Okay. I love her so much. Love. I don't even have words. She's and the best. I loved Max. And I love the whole introduction. Can I talk about a hot couple? I mean, I was like, damn. Right? I felt that way. Fucking hell. I know. I was like, why didn't these two work out? They're so they were hot. They look fucking great They're together. They're so cute together. I loved the intro to Max. And I thought, the, oh my God, whatever I know. Bar, whatever bar they're in, that's the coolest bar this show has featured thus far. Whatever bar in small town, Skokie, okay, Illinois. Skokie, yeah. Um, okay, let's go back. Is her family Can conservative? Like, yes. Is, like I know, 
It, and a very conservative Jewish family. Very Margot Kidder. Fucking Margot Kidder. Lois Lane. I know. You don't have to tell me. I mean, she I just, I think I forgot these things and I was like, <gasps> Lois Lane. Um, she was the best. I grew up. I grew up watching her. She well, was. Yeah, yeah. She's Superman. Margot Kidder. Yeah. Okay. So great casting. Great casting. Great casting. And now the, Warren, the character Warren, who I think is Jenny's father, or is it her stepfather? Th- I, that wasn't clear to me. Stepfather. stepfather. Now, was it alluded to that he did things to Jenny yes, when she was little? Yes, that's what I picked up. That's what I thought too. So yes. Jenny's at home. She gets and, caught. So she and we, her mother's not helped her, or she knew what was happening and didn't help her child. Right. And well, so okay. Well, this whole thing kicks off because we meet Max uh, out at a bar with Jenny. They've been dating loosely for a while, non-committal. Seems like it. Not- I was a little surprised. I was like, they're familiar with each other. Oh, they. I wasn't sure if Max was coming over to sit down and be like, hey. No, I think they've been like they have casually they- sleeping with mm-hmm. each other, and. Um, I wish those two worked out because they look I great know. together. And then cut to they're having sex in her room and her dad walks in, mm-hmm. stepdad. And said, get this guy out of here. And he said, get out. And she said, meet Moira. I love Jenny and her I know. throw down. I know. Mike drop. She had a moments. lot of throw downs in this episode. Yeah. And she said, we're leaving. We're going to Los Angeles. And then her, I realized something. I've worked with Mia so much. And I realized, and, it, and there was a scene she has with Margot Kidder outside of the house when her mom comes out and says, I just want to apologize or something. Yeah, are you punishing me? Yeah. She asked That her. scene. And then they sit down and they have a heart to heart. There's a thing with, much like Lara with her, with Lara. her seductive, Lara. with her seductive recipe um, ingredients, Jenny's thing is. <laughs> And I've done it with her, so I know this. I wonder if you're going to say what I think you're going to say. Go ahead. We there's a habit where you have these where you sit next to each other and you're looking outward, and you're having these really intimate conversations, and you come to some sort of resolution in this space like this. Like me as the queen of you doing. You mean you don't look at each? Not like no, you're not facing like each other. Like we're facing outward, and we're just really. Isn't that for camera? No. I mean, Are you it's sure? a choice. I think I have one. I feel like you shot that with Bet and Tina in the reboot. I, no, I have got, so got many. No, engaged no, I have so out. many scenes with Mia. But I just realized, oh, this is a move. This I is Jenny's move, a, where you sit next to each other, next to someone really, really close, and I think have these that's really intimate a winner, scenes. And you're not getting coverage, so nobody can call. Sure, but I just saying it's a habit. Okay, a here's habit. what I think that I find it's, happening it's, a lot. It's, it made me laugh. I was like, oh, I did like five of those scenes with her. Right. Like in that. heightened situations where everyone's, ah, Jenny is always like very quiet in the whole scene. Oh, 100%. And it brings, it's like that thing you learn, which I've never learned, but if you're in, ar- in an argument with someone. You always bring it down. Go bring it down. And like, because me and I would get in things because we were roommates, so we like once in a blue, would be like, psh. Um, she's great at that. And it just makes you feel like you're not. Yeah, she makes you crazy. It, it it if makes you go you... down, she does. She just goes super quiet. But Jenny goes super quiet. Uh huh. And then in all these scenes, and then in real life, when she does that, you feel it, crazy. Yeah. And loud. Right. Yeah. And you realize, wow, I sound kind of yeah. Unhinged. Oh yeah. I should check yeah. myself. So anyway, she. She's so great in this episode. She's so always is Max. great. Mia's always great. Um, I, I love her. I love Max. Although Max isn't Max yet. Max is... Moira. Moira. And they decide to run off together, right? I was like... Well, they went to L.A. together, yeah. Right. There, it's a sort of Bonnie and Clyde feeling because they yeah, had the yeah, taser. Yeah. That's later, though. Um, That's episode two. Okay. But, like, it's sexy. The whole thing 100%. was sexy. It was nice to get out of L.A., too. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, the Midwest. Well, Canada, they shot that okay, shit Okay, but you know Vancouver. what I'm saying. Same thing. Flats. Um, it's all flat. What, what, what else were you missing here? Laura oh. <sighs> Laura, oh. Laura finds a lump. See, this is why I didn't want to get into this season. Because this season. It's full of landmines. I don't want to watch characters die. I don't want to like, well, deal with landmines. Well, if we're going to talk about landmines, let's talk about what There's Alice so said that was so inappropriate. In this season. Let's just call him out. Let's call him out. Okay. It's just. Alice. Takes down oh. the social worker who's in a wheelchair That's right. and has. Well, you slam into her car. But I'm like, what? Can, can, why don't you drive a regular car? I say, so I don't say. Alice says something. Right. And I was like, Jesus Christ! 
Yeah. So let's call out the landmines. What, right. are we going to hide them? No. It's, it's just, terrible. It's just, I, I just know as the season goes on, the landmines get bigger and more deadly. It's like you can't survive it. You what are we going to, but if we just skip casually No, I'm not them. saying to skip it. I'm just saying this is part of the reason why I was dreading third season, as you were too, was for these two reasons. I don't want to watch <sighs> characters die and dealing with these landmines that are so... Out of touch. Out of touch. Also, r- really real subjects like breast cancer. Major. Well, then this whole episode. Well, wait. Do we go through everything? Oh, wait. 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 No. 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 We long. haven't talked about. We haven't talked about Kit. Wait. 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 Oh. I want to talk about Kit. Yeah. Kit is going to her son, who's a doctor. I'm glad they've become friends. Oh again. my God! I can't believe you've said this. I want. I actually wanted to lead in with this, and I forgot. Okay. Because it's my brain works these uh-huh. days. And Kid is sitting there, and she's like, I don't know. I'm feeling X. I'm feeling Z. I'm feeling this. I couldn't this, believe feeling that. that this was a storyline. <clears throat> Down the line. And I'm thinking to I myself, can't think yep, straight. yep, yep, yep. But yep. Kate, like how? All of it. I was like, I check every single box. I get it. She's going through menopause. <laughs> I know, but here's what I was like. I don't think that's a storyline. Like how? It's why not would a storyline. I'm just saying it was relatable. It was Kit's entire first episode was about not being aware that she was going through menopause and just being like, I don't know, and it's this, and it could be yeah. that, and don't scare me, and yes. tell me the bad news if you have it, and it's all yeah, like... Yeah, Kit isn't that clueless. It's menopause. Like, are we were, we were we also not talking about that back then? Well, no, because she gets on progesterone. She says that in episode two, and it felt great. And I was like, oh, right on, Kit, you're on progesterone. I know. Oh, so you love this story? You were no, like... No, I was just saying it's relatable. You, I didn't say I liked it or hated it. I it's just, relatable, it was relatable. but it, why, was it, why was it such an issue? It's like, it's menopause. Like She was clueless it. Was, it goes back it. to the straight thing. Like, I don't know. Like, we're teaching you what me, what a woman looks like going through menopause. What, I don't know. It felt weird it, to I me. didn't take it like that. I take it hard. You did. <laughs> Are you, on like, pro- are you on progesterone, Leisha? Yeah. Okay. But like, I don't need difference. to, I'm not going to go home and be like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And no. I don't, it's, I don't need to do all that to get to the, it's, it's like, one thing oh, to it's make straight menopause. people on the show clueless or evil. I get it. But it's another thing to treat menopause like it's this foreign concept. That Why are we like, so oblivious to our bodies? Like menopause, pussies, like what, it's like what, we're very in touch well, I can say me as Kate wasn't out of touch because when she was listing all of those things, I was like, yeah, girl, I feel you. Yeah. I get it. Right. Progesterone saves saves yourself. <laughs> it's great. But like, are we that clueless to our own Yes, we are. And, like the way really? people- Yes. Oh, and Dana just not going to get checkups. And oh, it's oh, a Dana's- lump. I've had it forever. What is happening? Well, that whole scene was just to get but to the lump in It all breast. goes together. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know my pussy. I don't know my actions. I don't know my yeah, feelings. Right. I don't you're know right. my lumps. Like, what? I don't know. Well, Dana's that leads into her awful storyline. But as for the kit thing, I don't know why they made kit like that. I don't know. I was it a reason for her to get in, into a scene with her son who then comes back later in another episode? I don't know. I mean, I think it was a chance to talk about menopause. Because it's a show about women. But did they? No, but that was like, that was it. We were like, oh, Kit has menopause. That would be a good show. And? I think that would be a great show. <laughs> a what? show about a woman going through menopause. I'm sure there's a million. Are there? All right, name one. I don't know. I need to get out of this episode already. I'm Please. exhausted. But Eight. the scenes that we had to shoot, I could tell in each one of our faces. <laughs> You had one alone, and then Alice shows up and starts going peeper, peeper. I was like, it's all uncomfortable and bad. It, why does anyone stop and say, that's when I think I said. How about I was like, hey, Al, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think that's you? where I gave you a very concerned, Al. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I think you that's didn't... where I try to step in with my one line of dialogue. <sighs> okay, so. I don't know. Leash. You all were sitting around the table before Alice showed up talking about what you call vaginas Mm -hmm. and there were a bunch of phrases and sayings and words i've never heard of alicia i've never heard of those sayings i I wrote some down great ready ready i want to know if anyone watching has used these terms with their friends because we had two scenes in this episode that were cringy and i could just tell we were all like ugh. i couldn't you see it you didn't notice that I was too busy cringing. I wasn't paying attention to the characters cringing. So 
sorry. No, the actors playing the characters were cringing. So we all were cringing we were, simultaneously. I could t- yes. Okay. Um, okay. I only wrote some down. I wrote some are repulsive but relatable. Okay. <laughs> all right. I think the weakest, something I've never heard, Tina calls it front bottom. The fuck's that? The fuck's that? Front bottom? I mean, it, logically it makes sense, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. All right. This, I know. Uh, all right, now we're getting a little crass. Uh, tongue trap. The fuck says that? I've never said that. That's also weird. It sounds like it's going to, like, bite. Oh, S- Carmen said bald man in a boat. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard little man in a boat before. I heard that, too. It's, yeah. It's... I know, but that was the only one I recognized. Right. What else you got? Fuck hole. Okay. I Means direct. It's very porny. Yes. Um, breakfast of Champions. I think that was a Shane line, actually. I've never heard ever, that. Ever in my life heard that. Arwen, I, I'm missing like a thousand of them. Those are the only ones. They were I've heard. awful. Yes, sure. please. I don't know if anyone watching wants to. You're like the Vanna White of <laughs> vagina names. <laughs> These are terrible. Okay. Yeah. That's a huge computer. Jesus. It's like the size of a dining table. Um, okay. A whiff waff. Who the hell calls it a whiff waff? What is that? It's a whiff waff. Who called it a whiff waff? Did you hear also, that? Also, did you hear? Oh, because you watched the credits. I watched all through. I oh, damn. The oh, thanks. Can I oh, read bless. some? Yeah, one second. I'm okay. not done. Um, peeper from uh, Pretty Pink Pearl. PPP. Nope, never heard it. A wee wee, a ha ha, a nope. hoo hoo, a mimi, a fuck hole, a calcunta. The lips between the hips, furry monkey, smurf crease. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? I mean, it's kind of funny. A smurf, a smurf crease? crease? That kind of makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's terrible. A smurf crease? Bearded oyster, bikini biscuit, I've cooter. Heard bearded oyster. Go nuts. Here. Second. Cooter. I mean, oh, wow. who hasn't heard cooter? Take, 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 take. Hurry up, hurry up. Take it. I can't. I don't want to bump the mic. Were you just sweating? You were like, oh my God. Sorry. Was making my finger. She wasn't reaching. Okay. Oh, we had a lot. So this is everything that was said. The cat cat what? flaps. What? I don't know. I don't hate that one, but I do. I also do You're, hate it. It's terrible. <laughs> a foo-foo valve. Pork shutters. That's disgusting. Oh my God. It's so bad. It's bad. What else? <sighs> Chewbacca. What? Monkey's chin. These are so gross. Vessel tube. Vertical smile. Squeegee. <sighs> Foo-foo valve. Like, were they making these up in the writer's room? Mm-hmm. Mermaid's purse. I've never heard of any of these. Mermaid's are these, purse? Are these real? Or were they just coming up with them? Anyway, we had to say them. Thank God I was in only like three seconds of that scene, although I hated what I had to do. We had to ADR probably everything over the credits. But I could see like you guys were like, you guys were like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the thing where we would try to make each other laugh before a scene? Mm-hmm. I could tell that was happening, but it was like nobody had the, nobody could even get each other up energetically to, to get through that scene. Listen. Yes. Here we go. I can't believe we're back on this ride. But okay. we're here. But Happy here we are at Spotify. Here. Thank you, Spotify. Thank you. 